Um, it's my privilege and my pleasure to be uh, chairing the first session this morning. And we have a keynote speaker, um, Professor Richard Crane, who will speak for about 30 minutes. And after that, um, I thought it might be a good idea to try to get some feedback from the table. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to reflect on, on Richard's uh, speech and then maybe come back to you for some comments. And then we can move uh, to the formal participants who are here today. I'm just going to indulge my role as chair um, by saying a little about the question that we're about to pose. And as the president said, we're really setting the tone of the debate and the parameters of that as wide as possible. And I think the broadest question you can possibly pose is, what is an educated person? And I was reflecting on that in terms of my own history and biography uh, last night. And I was thinking my father was born in 1916 on a small holding in County Tipperary. And he left school at 14 and basically lived a life uh, in which he worked in unskilled or semi-skilled jobs. Um, so he never had any formal educational opportunities. But at the same time, I grew up in a home that was filled with books and where debate and argumentation around the Sunday dinner table was really um, encouraged by my father. He was an avid reader. His favourite author was Solzhenitsyn. So he was a classic example of what we might call a formally uneducated man in the sense of having no educational credentials. But he nevertheless had a reservoir of cultural capital that he was able to impart to his own children. And I was thinking about my dad and wondering if he was alive today, would it be books that continue to be his window on the world, or would it be MOOCs, or I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, uh, the massive open <laughs> online courses, which according to an article in The Observer last Sunday, are revolutionizing the world and bringing education uh, to people who happen to be at the end of an internet connection. And I suppose that does raise you know, very profound questions about what is the nature of an education and indeed an educated person in the 21st century. 